Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable the multi-booking system in Jet Appointment. So in this case, I want to have it where the user can choose between one of these three services, uh, different providers. So we just have Mark and Barbara. So let's choose my name and let's just choose a random date here. And I'm going to show you how multi-booking is going to look. So once you have your first appointment, it's going to show up down here. Now let's say I want to go ahead as a user and select another service, another person at a different date. You're going to see right here, it adds it right here under appointment details. So this is what multi-booking is going to look like on the front end. And then once you submit that, it's going to add these two appointments into the back end. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this up inside your jet appointment system. Once you have everything set up in your jet appointment, you're going to want to make sure you head over into your working hours settings right here. And by default, multi-booking is not enabled. So you just need to go ahead and click this on. And then there's a few settings that you're going to want to make sure you configure uh, so it works correctly in the front end. The first one is your slot count. You're going to want to make sure that you have a minimum and maximum number here. Um, so basically, how many different appointments can that user make in that one interface? So you're going to want to set this to a number like a five, for example. So if I go ahead and add more than five appointments, you're going to see that it's going to say this message right here. You set the maximum amount of appointments. So just go ahead and add whatever you think is going to work for your website. And the other setting you're going to want to maybe look at is uh, lock time before. So if someone is trying to book an appointment and there's not enough time. So for example, if I put like 15 minutes in here and someone's trying to book at four o'clock, let's say PM, and let's say it's 350. If you have that set to 15 minutes, it's not going to let that user uh, make that appointment. So it's kind of like a buffer time, but it's a locked in time instead. And that's all you have to do to set up your multi-booking inside jet appointments. You don't need to worry about setting up anything inside the widgets for each form. That's all done automatically. Now I'm going to jump into the front end of the website, do some testing, and then I'm going to jump over back into this dashboard and show you what it looks like when someone submits a multi-booking system inside your back end here. The first example is a static form and you can see right here, I have a few different services and two different providers. So let's go ahead and do the first one, SEO audit with Mark, the 24th. I'll just choose a random date. Now let's go ahead and say we want web design with Barbara on the 25th. There you go. So now you can see down here, we have the two different services with two different providers. Now let's go ahead, just do one more while we're in here. We'll do Barbara on the 29th at 8.30. So now you can see we have one, two, three, and then I'm just gonna do um, test, you know, at test.com. So when this submits, we're going to see how this looks on the back end now. So now if we go back into your appointments dashboard, let's go ahead, hit refresh. And now you're going to see this new thing down here called group contains three appointments. So this is what's nice about the multi-booking system is it kind of puts it all in a folder and not just list them all at once. So you can see when you expand that, you're going to see all the three different services we just booked. Everything looks good. And then if we jump over into the calendar, you can see at a calendar level that each one of these appointments went in correctly. So everything seems to be working great at the static level. Now let's jump over into the single page and make sure this works as well. Let's start with our email. We'll just do test at test.com. And we just have the one service. So we're on the services web design page right now. I'll just choose Mark. Let's say the 23rd at 8.30. Now let's choose Barbara and the 30th at 10 30. Make sure that works correctly. So we have two different web design services, two different providers. Everything looks good. We're hit book. Let's go back into this dashboard and make sure that that group is coming in correctly. And yet you can see right there, group number two contains two appointments and it's got the barber mark. Let's go to calendar, hit refresh, make sure that these all came in correctly, which was at the 30th and the 23rd. So we have the 30th and the 23rd. Yeah, everything looks like it came in correctly. And if we jump back over into this dashboard, they give you a few options um, where you can go ahead and delete the whole group if you want. So if you need to remove these two appointments, you could just click that. Or what you can do is go to each appointment and change the different status. If you need it here, you can change the provider. So they give you the different options where you don't have to delete the whole thing, which is nice. So let's go ahead and remove one of these. So let's say the web design on the 30th, we can just remove that one. 
And now you can see that's gone. Let's make sure on the 30th that removes from your calendar. Yep, so that looks good. And let's go ahead and just show you how easy it is. Delete the whole group. You're gonna say these three appointments are now gone. If I jump into the calendar, now you're just gonna see that one appointment's left over. So that's really nice, they give you that option. Let's go ahead, just delete this group and go back to what it was. And everything is back to blank. And that's it for this Jet Appointment tutorial on how to set up multi-booking. Thank you for watching.